We will start with a project that will both capture your eye and your heart. We want you to dig to the bottom of your jewelry door to make a one-of-a-kind Valentine, if we can call it that. The trinkets that you used to love can shine in a whole new way. We are making what my next guest calls, I love this so much, doodad hearts. We're making doodad hearts in a mixed media art experience that sort of has a vintage Valentine vibe too. I'm with the lovely artist Kim Holmes. She is here to show us how she makes them. It's so great to meet you. Nice to meet you. And like any good project, I understand there's a story behind this one. There is a big story. You remember in the 70s when they did the Christmas, big Christmas jewelry trees? Yes! That's where I got my inspiration. I was taking down my aunts and I thought, I'll do this. Will you point out what you've done? Because sure. really, you could just sit and stare at each one of these beautiful framed <laughs> objects for hours. But point out what you've done. Well, this one is kind of um, close to my heart because I used to dance. Uh -huh. And there's my grandson and just an old perfume bottle from when I was a little girl. Where's your grandson? I missed that. It's your little grandson silhouette there. Oh, cute. Oh, cute. So just kind of things are personal to me. A beehive. Uh -huh. Utah State. Uh -huh. So that was just kind of fun. This one I did an inspiration. I have a lot of friends that have horses. Okay. And so I thought that was really fun. It is very fun. You You've know? got the horse there and the bird. Exactly. I thought, it, there's, you know, it's endless. You can do whatever you want. So. Mounted on crushed velvet, adding yes. to that texture and that overall sheen and appeal. <laughs> so lovely. What's happening over here? This one is a frame that I just kind of put a bunch of doodads on and I thought I'll put it, I'll put it in my kitchen. This is wild. <laughs> you know what I love about this though is, you know, traditionally this might speak to a certain type of design style or artistic preference, but come Valentine's Day, I feel like any style can embrace the vintage sure. and the cheesy. That's a compliment. Oh, I know. And in this case, <laughs> the intricate and the detailed, it just pulls out everything extra about this holiday. It does, you know, like you say, you can go really retro, you can go yeah. fancy, yeah. you can do whatever you want. Where are you sourcing all of these doodads? Well, I do a lot on Instagram. Okay. And on Instagram, I'm on um, Facebook. People just find me and they order sometimes and I'll make kits and I'll, and I teach classes. So what are you looking for when you're, look at this collection. Do you mind? As I no, dip my paws no, into, your, into your collection, I'm rummaging here, but wh what are you looking for? Well, mostly I try, I try to start with the jewelry bits and pieces. Okay. Because that's, that's going to be your, your form for your, for your heart. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. And what I've done here is I've started with a little bit of a, a template to show you. I kind of start like with a piece of jewelry, like uh -huh. a like a piece of like a bracelet uh -huh. or a necklace, and I kind of try and I get a heart going. Now you could use a template, like if you wanted to take a template and kind of make a you know so you can see what you're doing. But I kind of eye it. Well, and I can see we're having a really strongly defined outer shape would help. Would, yeah, would help. And then you just start playing. You know, you just start putting little doodads, bits and pieces. It's a doodad heart. It's a doodad heart. I thought this would be really blingy and fun at the bottom. Oh my goodness. So now, oh, I should probably do the point. But anyway, you know, just a lot of fun. Look at you. You can, and then I thought it'd be fun if you had a special picture of a family member or an old, this is my daddy. Is it? So I thought, you know, that would be kind of fun, like ode to dad, if you wanted to And do. I saw some paper objects, like this little yes. kiss ticket, or I saw another, a puzzle piece down yes, here. Yes, you could do anything you want. You could yeah. do, look, you could add a yes. little, you know, I try to just get the, the heart formed so that you can fill it up with doodads. <laughs> this is taking me back to my childhood too. I grew up in a small northern Utah town and there was a fabric store called Peace Goods oh, and they had nice. a huge bin of this. And while my mom was shopping for who knows what because she didn't sew or really craft. I don't know what we were doing there, mom. I love you. But I would rummage and find all of these treasures. That's part of the fun of a project like this is the hunt, right? So fun. Um, Stephanie said, where did you get all this? I've been doing it. I've been saving it for my whole yeah, life. Yeah, our producers falling all over ourselves when we saw this. I've, I've, been, <laughs> I've been ready for this my whole life with this collection. Okay, Isn't and then what cute? type of glue are you using? Well, you know, I think I... I use the good old glue gun. Which happens to be cheetah print, I noticed. But this girl, you gotta I watch. Her. I love her more and more. <laughs> but you have to like make sure you get all the little, you know. Strings and strands yeah. and spider webs. This is really, it, E600 or 1000 is wonderful. Okay. It's really a good one. Okay. Any adhesive, you know, whatever you kind of feel comfortable with. Uh huh. But just remember if you, when you use your hot glue gun. Yeah. It's, it's there. I mean, it's, you can't move it. It's stuck, <laughs> sister, yeah. <laughs> so if you're a little nervousy, I may go to this so you can kind of move it around. Nervous, yeah, I like that it's, word. It's a little forgiving, the velvet, but not. Well, I want to ask about <laughs> the velvet too. So you wrap uh, like a mat? Yes, I just took it. Uh huh. I have to put these down now. But I just, it's so simple and it's not perfect. It doesn't have to be doesn't perfect. It doesn't need to be. You know, it is what it is. 
I, on these, I'm gonna cheat and tell you, this is a dollar, dollars? You know why I know that? Is I have some of those. I, and I love the price point and I love the effect. And you know, on this one I had actually done it on a little canvas, but you can actually wrap it on the back of this and then pop that in. Oh, Make sure. sure you take the glass out. Sure. Because you don't want to no. ruin your doodads. No, this is not from the dollar store. This looks like a more substantial that, that's antique a, frame. Yeah, that is. But either works and it becomes huh. part of the project. That frame kind of plays with the glisten or the, the sheen right. of what you have going on inside. Right, right. So, oh. so just have fun. You know, there's no rhyme or reason. It doesn't have to be perfect. But what a cool project to spread out all of these doodads. I'm going to say that it's word fun. as much as I can in your presence because I love it so much. But spread it all out, form a little collection, get yes. the, your daughters or your granddaughters and yeah, just have a just, fun little... Just start playing. Just and, start playing. Yeah. How do you know when you're done? I always ask, like, you know, the extra artists that, that are more maximalist, like, how do you know when this project is done? Um, like this one, I did less is more. I thought I'm going to do a little less. This one I want to do a lot, so I put more doodads. And this is a lot. That's a less than more? Less than more? <laughs> I well, love you. For Kimmy it is. For Kimmy that is less is more. Less and is more. do you have a focal point or do you like to have an anchor piece? Yes. What I like to do, I get this going, like I said, the, uh -huh. the heart shape. Uh -huh. Then I want to start, you know, putting your, like, say I want to put my daddy in there. Yeah, we do. Then I would start, like, putting little... You know, like there's a key and build around. You know, it. just start. You know, there's cute little French. Oh, you know, this what, is so fun. You know, there's a Cupid. You could put Cupid by Daddy. This is you know, so fun. It's just, Kim. It is. <laughs> oh my goodness. And when I do it, I just I smile because everyone's different. Yeah. And it just it brings a lot of joy to a lot of people. I did a class the other night, and everybody just went nuts. I'm sure because it is such one of those projects <laughs> that pulls you in in all of yeah. the extra ways. You teach classes. I do. You offer art. Where can we learn more from you? Just Instagram. It's um, Kimmy H801. Okay. Or Facebook is Kim Holmes. Okay, Kimmy H801 on Instagram. We have a lot of people who will be yes. excited to meet you there. Thank and you have <laughs> classes that you post about? I do. Okay. I do. All right, Kim, thank you for thank sharing you. your passion. So fun. And your doodad hearts. Now we all, hearts. our Valentine's collection will not be complete until we all have at least one doodad heart in our.